Okay, so this is how you start um, with it um, to do to wind your bobbin on this old kind of machine with the pull down bobbin winder on the treadle. Now, if you can see how it's threaded, I just put it around here and down, and there's a little pin right here. You see that little pin, and I just kind of have it hook on that little pin, and then um, there's Okay, so there's a little hole right here. It's kind of like got a notch, and then there's this notch. So down, make sure you got the, you know, it's hooked to your pin, and then the knot, this hole and that notch. There should be a little um, spot for your thread to go through there, but you can always thread it if not. Okay, and then um, when you secure your bobbin, this this pulls out and just secure your bobbin. Okay, now some people put this back behind. I always put the leather to the front because I find I get the best traction. So the leather goes in front of the bobbin winder. Okay, um, and then you just go along the, the way, along it goes. And however you have it set up is however it's going to go. <laughs> Come on. Obviously mine's set up kind of funky. i got to look at that. Anyway, it's not quite getting the end there. Also, I'm not that good of a treadler. <laughs> is the reality of the situation. But So this will wind your bobbin for you. And this is how you do it. It's just easy peasy. Now, you just keep up the motion. Now, I want you to look down at my feet, how I'm treadling that, too. See, I have one foot treadling on one side and one hit in the other. Okay. Now, let's see. When you take off the bobbin, you just push your bobbin winder up, pull the little pin out. I cut it, I just broke it off. Now obviously, <laughs> that's a problem. I'm a crappy bobbin winder. However, that is how it works. Now this little thing right here, how it's set up, is how, um, how you can fix whether this happens or not. What I had is when I when I started with this, I had a lump right there. And as you can see, this part right here, look at that squishy. That will not fly. You cannot use that in your um oops, in your uh your um shuttle because it'll get caught. However, um that is only because this is set up funky. So see this screw right here you can set that to be different ways and the you can if you set this longer or tighter or whatever it makes a difference in how far over it goes um anyway so that is how you wind a bobbin do not do this funky bump thing at the bottom where you'll be you'll have an issue but that is how you wind the bobbin. You pull it forward like this. And that gives you enough tension that you should be able to wind it no problem. Alright, thanks.